Hello. Hello. We're from the Time Team. My name's Mick Aston and this is Tony Robinson. Hello. Hello. And we're looking in Jerry Bowden's garden next door. We've got the Grand Raider on here and, and obviously your building's old as well. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if we could come in and have a look and see if it might help us to understand what's going on next door. Please do. This is just the sort of thing we're looking for, look. I mean, it looks as if it might be 15th century, something like that. Large. And what we should do is get the building surveyed. That's yeah. the first thing, so we know where it fits into the plan. And then, uh, if you were agreeable to this, we could actually get a dendro date out of this. That's fine. Uh, I mean, it's, we've actually got the sapwood at the top here. Uh, so we could presumably go from the day, the date that the tree was felled and work out how old this was and get a, get a date for the felling year. And that would tell us more or less the date it was put up. Is there any the... local history about what this actually is? A lady in the almshouses in the 90s said it was known locally as the whipping post. Oh, crikey. Whipping post. <laughs> <laughs> That'll suit you. <laughs> Have you got anything else in the house that, that's uh, not necessarily wood but stone or anything like that that also might give us a clue like, like that? We've got some arches in the, in the living room. Have you? Mm, could, some could, stone could we have a look at those? Because yeah, they, they yeah, may yeah, tell us yeah. as well. Through, through the dining room into the lounge. Oh, so right. you really don't mind us drilling a hole in that and... You know, filling it up, it re really won't hey, show mate. at no, all. Not at all. Look. Oh, crikey. That's good, isn't it? Oh, right. Ah, look, look. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh that's great. That's great. Yes, that's, that's uh, another good clue, actually, because this, this must be medieval. Uh, what it looks like, actually, is the two doorways into the service end of a, of a medieval house, so that you've got one entry into the pantry or buttery and the other one into... Uh, the food stores, basically, you know, the, the pantry for the dry food and the buttery for the, the barrels, not the butter, but the barrels, the butts, you know. So you've got and loads of servants going yeah. in this one with and staff. And there ought and to be a screen's passage across, this one, across the front here, right, through somewhere across here. I, mean, I think this, this bears out that we need to have a plan made of the house, really, in relation to Jerry's next door. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll perhaps see where this fits in, because this, this looks in situ to me. It doesn't look as if it's... Um, I, often people say they've been bought in from the abbey or whatever. Yeah. And clearly, with a big abbey outside, it's an obvious thing to suggest. But that looks that looks genuine to me. That looks as if it's in the right place. Can you tell anything about what sort of age it might be? Well, the arches are a bit flat, so I'd have thought it was probably, you know, getting towards the end of the Middle Ages, perhaps 15th century. But again, the post might help us, which must be the other side of the wall here. Uh, that will help to tie that in. And then, of course, whatever they're finding out outside will help. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry about this, but you're, you're, you're not going to believe this. No, I'm not. No, can we just measure down your garden? And then I'll tell you what it's all about. <laughs> you right. Go on, I'll have to go down with the tape and look for something like 50 to 60 feet. We have something to tell you. Yeah, which we, we've got some... We've been <laughs> thinking, and which is always a bad thing. Oh, it right? is. That's Especially right. this time in the morning. <clears throat> Where are you there now? Well... That's 20 there. Is it... Turn it over, cos it's metric on one side and, um... Feet uh, and feet on the other? Yeah, 65, 60, 65 foot seven. Come back five feet, it's important. <laughs> we don't want any more, <coughs> we don't want any more feet than we can cope with. Right. So what you're saying is that if there's the, the two arches that we know about in the lounge there, yeah. then probably there's another two arches somewhere behind the Be stucco in the Yeah, kitchen. you've got both sides there. You've got to imagine it coming back down this way. Yeah. I think this might even be too big. It looks... I don't understand why we didn't realise it before. I mean, if you have a look, Mick... I mean, you can see higher. You can see the side of what is obviously a roof there, can't yeah. you? And there's, there's supposed to be one on the other side on the drawing. So why did we think it was next door? Well, I think, I think until we went into this house, you know, which, yeah. we, which we did the other day, and found the post and found the arches, we didn't actually realise that that wasn't perhaps something late medieval, something yeah. just sort of tacked on to another building. Uh, and after all, it was Jerry that wrote us the letter with what was in his garden, with the foundations he'd found, not the Gibsons. So because obviously, they, you know, all this has been laid and they haven't touched it for a long time. I still can't see where the other one is. Yeah, here, look. See, there's three stones down oh, bottom of course, right yes, of the window. Yes. Do you see that? But you see, you'd have Just to get right in this corner of the, the garden to see that. Conservatory roof. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a line down there, which is the other side, presumably, of the, of the roof of the Great Hall. Yep. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>